Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us today for this webinar series, Navigating with Sydney. Today, we're going to be talking about tips on choosing your college major. And my name is Mallory Newby. I'm a career coach here at the University Career Center, and I'll also be checking for your questions in the chat log. Today's session will be recorded and will be available soon for your review. If you missed this or you happen to need to step away, we will have this recorded. And without further ado, I'd like to introduce today's presenter, Sydney, Sydney Miller, and she'll be sharing more information with you on tips for choosing your college major. Alrighty, thank you, Mallory. Hi, everyone. My name is Sydney Miller. I'm the U UCC um, graduate assistant, and I recently graduated from the University of Louisville with my bachelor's in psychology and a minor in communication. And now I am pursuing my graduate degree at the University of Louisville in college student personnel. And so today, so enough about me. So today we're going to be doing um, a presentation over our webinar, Navigating with Sydney Tips on Choosing a College Major. So the agenda today is um, an overview of the webinar, and then we're going to go over a reflective question. Then we're going to talk about five tips of choosing a major and tools and resources. OK. So the next slide overview of of this webinar. So in this webinar, um, I will be discussing what things you should know before you choose your major. Because choosing a major can be a very difficult and long process, but hopefully with this webinar, you are able to um, have an easier journey on to deciding a future major. And so using these tips and advice will hopefully help you on your journey to finding this, finding your future major. OK, so a reflective question that I have, um, you can put this in the chat box or you can just mentally take note of it. So what are some things that you find challenging about deciding on a major? So um, a few of the things that I have found challenging about deciding on a major are one, that I have too many decisions. Um, two, not I, I don't know all of my likes and dislikes. Three, I'm not wanting to commit to a major for four years or however long it takes me. And then four, I'm, I have other people talking in my ear about um, a certain major. So I'm going to go into discussion on how I chose my major, my undergrad major, psychology. Um, this was a bit of a longer process for me as well. I chose my major in the third semester um, coming or my third semester at the University of Louisville. I was tied between two majors. I was tied between psychology and education, but I decided to take on psychology because I knew a lot of my likes um, were going to further be developed in in this major. Um, I also took the focus too, which we'll, we will talk about later, which helped me to narrow down my decision on psychology with using the, the skills and the interests and values. Um, and then third is I did research about different occupations and psychology, and I found that psychology doesn't just lead to one career, but there's a lot of different careers within psychology. And so those few things helped me to figure out what I wanted to do um, as a major. Sydney, okay. Yes. Yeah. We do have a few um, answers to that question in our chat today. OK. Uh, some students are wondering if they'll enjoy their major and also about their parents input in that process. So trying to consider whether or not their parents would enjoy that major or if that major is going to help them to reach their goals. Right, yeah, um, so that's actually very common with a lot of people. Um, they often, you know, have parents or friends uh, talking to them about what major they should do or not do. 
But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it comes down to what you're wanting to pursue and what you're going to want to what you're going to want to do um, in your later on career. And some of the things that you can do is, you know, locating your strengths and weaknesses, which we're going to go over in our in our five tips. Um, but that's just that's one of the steps. And you can also ask input from others, you know, um, your parents or friends and family about things that you find interesting. Um, but at the end of the day, we want to just make sure that you're focusing on what you like because you're going to be majoring in this in this specific major or minoring in a specific minor. Um, so you want to choose something that is going to be of your of your choice. And was there any um, other questions? There is one other question here. Um, okay. What if you feel like I will choose the wrong major? Yeah. Um, yeah, so choosing the wrong, you don't want to choose like the, <laughs> the wrong major, but sometimes, I mean, sometimes stuff like that happens where you think you're going to like a major and then you get further along in classes and you just decide, you know, I don't, I don't really like that um, anymore. But it's very important for you to find your skills, like I, like I was saying earlier, finding your skills, finding your interest, and even talking to um, your professor advisors, like career coaches, um, to kind of help you figure out more about yourself and figure out the options there are to matching your interests and values to a, um, to a major. Great advice, Sydney. I think that's all we have is at this point for those questions. OK, awesome. All right, um, so our next slide is five tips to consider before choosing a major. So the five tips that I want to go over now, these aren't the only five tips. There's more than five tips, but these are the ones that I'm going to be focusing on and that I felt were most important for this webinar. So the first one, strengths, locating your strengths and weaknesses. Two, classes you've done well in high school and in college. Three, ask yourself, will you still enjoy the classes in your major a year from now? Four, knowing your interests and values. And five, I think that which this is the most important understanding that you have time. Okay, so the first one that we're gonna go over are strengths and weaknesses. This is very important to know, um, not only for your major, but just to know about yourself and know in the future when you're interviewing for a job or even, um, you know, just talking to different people. People want to know the things that you're good at. Um, and so your strengths can be things that you find um, you do well in. And then your weaknesses are maybe things that you find need improvement or things that you might not do well in. And so what you can do is you can get out a piece of paper or type on your um, on your phone and you can list out your strengths and weaknesses. And so what this is doing when you're listing your strengths and weaknesses is you're identifying things about yourself that you're understanding as a person. And so this will help. Um, help you along. This will help you with the process of choosing a major. Um, for example, my strengths are creativity, being social. Um, I, I like talking to other people. I value interpersonal communication. And I know that my weaknesses are more analytics and um, numbers. I was not a fan of math at all. And so my strengths led me to doing um, being interested in counseling and being in, so which led me to being more um, to led me to being um, a psychology major. And then my weaknesses, obviously, they kind of detoured me away from majors in the science field or in the math field. But I knew that about myself. Um, and so it was easier for me to kind of make a decision on where I should go for a major. And then third, rate your strengths and weaknesses. So this is also another important step as well. So what's your strengths? You can just you can list your top three and then you can rate your top three strengths from highest to lowest 
And so this will help you to identify what you can bring to a certain major or what things you can identify with a certain major. Um, and so, like I said earlier, my strengths were creative and being social, interpersonal. So I knew that me going into psychology or going into counseling would be a good fit for me. And so the question is here is how can you use your strengths and your we and um, your strengths in your major or your future job? And so that's just a reflective question. You can kind of think about that and really just assess where you are and your um, strengths and weaknesses. And then the second thing we're going to talk about today is classes in high school and in college. So this is also very important as well. Um, because you for you to know your classes that you do well in um, in high school and college, this is going to help you to identify a major. Um, so for me, one of the classes that I did well in high school was in, or two of the classes I did well in high school were English and science. Um, science didn't run over for me in um, college, unfortunately, but that's OK. Um, and then Two, in college, I did well in classes like psychology, communication, um, and my education classes. And so this helped me to be able to make the decision and help me to narrow down my decision for psychology and then my minor in communication. Um, and then, so what you can do with the classes that you have done well in, maybe you've gotten good grades in this class, or maybe you just genuinely like the class. You can star those classes. And um, once you start those classes, you know, keep those in mind because you can take more classes in that um, in that major or you can kind of steer away from the classes that you don't like. And then also, um, you know, write out the pros and cons of continuing a major in your favorite class. So, for example, like I said earlier, I was a psychologist. I did psychology. So what were the pros and cons of continuing um, a major in psychology? I was going to be able to take more psychology classes. I was going to be able to further develop my skills in psychology. And I also had an opportunity to do um, a, a fun internship working with kids in education and psychology. So it all came together. And then also talking to your academic advisor or professors. This is a great way to un, um, to understand more about a major. A lot of times your academic advisor or your professor has has majored in a um, in the major that you're considering. And so I talk to a lot of my academic advisors and professors about occupations in psychology. And so that helped me to um, narrow down that major. And then next thing is um, for a question, another reflective question is, could you see yourself majoring in one of these classes or subject areas? And if so, um, how would you further develop in those classes or how would you further develop in that subject area? And this is also just this is just going to be helpful as well when you're identifying your classes. You've done well in college. Um, this is going to help you in the future as you're deciding on a major and something that you can do, which I'll talk about um, in, the, in our next slide is the graduate or I'm sorry, the undergraduate catalog which has like a flight plan of all of the majors and minors that the University of Louisville has to offer. And um, you can look through that flight plan and locate your major. And with that um, flight plan, you look at your major. So say, for example, you did biology. You could look at all of the biology classes that you're going to have to take. And um, you're going to have to look at the you can look at all the classes that biology majors have to take and say, am I going to like these classes or am I not going to like these classes? So that will help you to narrow down that as well. And then um, the third tip is, will you still enjoy your major a year from now? 
So like I said earlier, locating the flight plan is going to be very important. And then also another thing is just really understanding that your major doesn't equal your career. So my major um, was psychology. I did not want to be a psychologist or a psychiatrist, um, really not even a therapist. I wanted to do more of the counseling um, counseling realm. And so that's where I'm at right now with the college student personnel. Um, and so I'm using my degree now to help students in a counseling sense, but also um, I'm gaining more knowledge about the college student personnel program um, or I gained enough knowledge with the college student personnel through my psychology major. So I'm able to carry on those things with me. OK, and then um, next thing just to really note is that you don't work in a major, you work in a career, and that's from um, Bill Fletcher, who is the director at the University Career Center. Um, and I think that's also just like very important to note because um, just because so, for example, just because you get a major um, in education doesn't mean you have to be a teacher. You can be an administrator, a counselor, um, and so it's important to understand that you have options. OK. And. I think that my Internet is running a little bit slow. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about our fourth um, tip, which is what are your interests and values? It won't be on the screen right now, but hopefully it will pop back up. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and talk about it um, right now. So if you want to write down notes, that will be great. OK, so what are your interests and values? So like I was talking about earlier, it's very important to identify, you know, the things that you like and the things that you dislike. So your interests are going to be, you know, your hobbies, your personal things that you like um, or just your likes. So. For example, if you like um, if you like art, if you like event planning, if you like um, doing certain things. Those are going to be your interests. Your values, on the other hand, are your your core things, the things that make you you, your ethics, your morals. And so the reason why those two are very, um, very important to take on is because those are going to be things that are going to shape you and your major and even in your um, future career. So just like we did with the strengths and weaknesses, you can list out your interests and values um, on a sheet of paper or on your phone. And then um, you can write out how are these interests and values being used now in your life. So for example, I did, I have a I have an interest in event planning and I also have a um, interest in ministry. And so I have combined the two. And so I plan events for my campus ministry. And then um, my values, my core, is I value teamwork and collaboration. And so a lot of the things that I do, I often work with teams and I collaborate with others. Um, and so another, another value that I would like to talk about is character and education and teamwork. And so I'm using these values and these interests in my future job, which are in my job right now, which is um, a grad. I'm a graduate assistant for the University Career Center. And so I am um, using those now during doing programming, doing team meetings and um, just further developing my skills. And so the question then is like, wow, I don't. Hey, Sydney, I don't know my interests or values and that's OK. Um, you can you can find those interests and values located um, on the University to Career Center website under focus two. And so you can take assessments that um, about your skills and about your values and about your interests. And so after you take the uh, the, fo the focus two, it's going to give you results 
and it's going to give you a result of, a, of an occupation. And so with that occupation, you can decide if you want to further research it and look it out or just throw it to the side. I would suggest um, further looking it out because you never know, you might end up liking it. And um, then you can see what major is um, correlated with that occupation. And then you can look at the flight plan and look at what classes you will have to take. And so that's another way to um, kind of narrow down your decision with a major. Um, and then number five, understanding that you have time. So college is very um, a prime a prime time for students. It's very important to learn about yourself and also to learn about others, but mostly, you know, learning about yourself, discovering more about you. And um, when you're learning these things about you, you know, take note of them mentally. You don't have to write them down, but take note of them mentally and also identify things that you like and dislike. Ident um, identify your interests. And so this is going to help you to further shape and mold your um, your your idea major. And then also your first two years, your fo your first two years of college should be um, very vital to you because you're going to want to further explore your um, your career and yourself. And so U of L has the um, had a great idea with doing the Cardinal Core requirements, which all um, for first two first two year students are supposed to take and fulfill within their first two years. And so these are classes that are you're able to um, learn more about yourself and discover more about yourself. And you can take as many different classes as you want. Um, like humanities, I know oral communication, there's many different classes you can take. And so that can help you narrow down your decision as well. That helped me to narrow down my um, decision in a minor, which was communication. I decided to take more communication classes and um, that really helped me. Um, now, if you are past your second year or you're coming up to the end of your second year semester and you're, you still feel stuck or undecided, that's OK. Um, so we have some great career coaches in the University Career Center and they're here and ready to help you. And so you can schedule an appointment with them virtually and talk through some of the choices and decisions um, that you have about deciding on a future major or even some of the challenges that you have about committing to a certain major. Those things are normal. And so meeting with a career coach is a great idea. Another thing is that you can um, enroll in, in the Find Your Fit course, which is ECPY 302, and you can take that class and it talks and it, it goes over um, some different ways on how to narrow down majors and just really learning more about yourself and um, understanding more about yourself and how you can um, narrow down a major. OK, and then um, our last thing are the resources that I have talked about today are the the focus to which is the skills, the skills, interest, values assessment, and that one would lead to a occupation or a, a future job. And then the University Career Center, which you can um, go to U University to University Career Center. Um, just type that in Louisville, um, Louisville, Kentucky. And then um, you can lo locate the career resources student res and click student resources. And it has a lot of different things about major exploration um, and career exploration. So those are some tabs that you can further explore and hopefully um, grasp and understand more about yourself and more about what you want to do in a future major. And then you can also schedule an appointment with your career coach and um, further understand what makes um, what makes up a major and why you would decide a certain major. OK, so that was a lot to download within um, all of these slides. And sorry again that the uh, my Internet connection isn't too well today, um, but I did want to open up the 
uh, platform for any questions. Does anybody have any questions or is there any questions in the chat box? Yes, and we have some questions here and I also did put into the chat links for focus to the flight plan and also handshake to schedule an appointment. Um, so the first question is, should I take an introductory class in a major before I make my decision? Um, I I think so. I think you should. Um, because you want to know what this major is going to be about. And oftentimes in the the introductory classes, they go over um, some important skills and some important things about the certain major. And also that gives you access to a professor who probably majored in that um, in that field. And so you're free to ask questions and better explore options if you decide to continue a major in that um, in that specific major. And then um, another question is choosing a major feels like I'm committed to it forever. What if I change my mind next semester? Yeah, so that, you know, that happens a lot of times and that's OK. Um, and if you do decide to, ch to change your major, that's OK. Um, you know, just make sure that you're looking at the the flight plan and looking at the classes that you're going to be taking in a major that you change. Um, that you change to and then also talk to your academic advisor or, or even your career coach um, and get some more knowledge about continuing in this major or even the um, the options of jobs that you have in this major what the future is if you consider um, continuing uh, continue in that major and then looking at job opportunities or even the classes that you're going to take that's going to be very important you want to know what classes you're going to take so Great advice. And then another question is about minors. Should I do a minor? Um, yeah, well, it, it honestly depends. I decided to do a minor and I really enjoyed it. Um, and so if you want to and explore on an on an area that's related to your major, yeah, I would decide to do a major or do decide to do a minor um, in that field. And sometimes I, I will say, I will say that deciding on a minor later in the process or even early in the process, you want to keep in mind if you want to graduate in four years or, or if you're on a, like a four year scholarship, make sure that that minor is going to be able to be completed in four years. Um, so with my my major psychology, I was able to take more electives and so I was able to take electives and communication and a lot of my classes lined up with one another. So I completed in four years. Um, and then. You can also discuss more. You should discuss this with your your academic advisor or your career coach before you make that decision to do a minor. They have to approve it first, but also it's going to be important for you to know your options and are you going to be able to complete this in the time frame that you want to. And then we just have a few questions that relate to our office and what help what help can we provide in deciding upon a major? Yeah, so um, we like I said earlier, we have the University Career Center website and so you can go on there and you can also just kind of play around with the different tabs. Um, one tab that I I went to most of the times when I was exploring a major was the career resources tab and then I clicked student resources and there was all the student resources there um, and one was the major exploration. And so under the major exploration, they have the focus two, which I talked about earlier, um, which is a quick, it's a really quick assessment that you can take and it highlights your skills, interests and values. So that's one. Um, and then meeting with your career coach, you can set up a meeting through there as well. Um, the link through Handshake is on there. And then you can also look at the tab. It's called What Can I Do With This Major? And so um, it has all of the different majors on there. You can click a major, say you click biology and it pulls up the classes and the different jobs that biology has to offer. And it also has, um, you know, the outlook, the bright outlook on it. So salary and it also has um, 
you know, different jobs that she can do and classes as well. So if you're good in these classes, biology might be this might be a major you can consider. So yeah, excellent. And one final question here. If I know what career I'm interested in, can you assist in helping me find an appropriate major? Yeah, um, yeah. So like I said earlier, I can I, I can help out with that as well, um, but also the University Career Center, um, sorry, the University Career Coaches are, um, they can help out as well. So there's three career coaches and they each take on a population of students. And so Mallory, um, and she's over the social work and education and then Karen wor works more with the the science students and nursing students um, and then Rosie works with humanities and music students and then they all take on different parts of the um, social sciences and so you can um, you can get a hold of them through the University Career Center website. You can email them um, or you can set up an appointment through Handshake and that um, that will be a step into um, narrowing down a major or even um, finding a, a major for that specific career you want to go into. And they can help um, answer questions for you. That's great, Sydney. That looks like all the questions that we have from our attendees today on choosing a major. OK, awesome. Um, so. I hope you all can see this, but we do have thank you all for, um, you know, participating in the, the chat box and asking questions. If you do have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to me or one of the career coaches. You can do that through the University Career Center website or you can go through handshake and schedule an appointment and we would be happy to help um, so don't feel like you can't reach out to us or feel have to feel stuck for a long time we're definitely open to help um, so some of the things that i wanted to talk about is our upcoming webinars so our next um, webinar is does my college major even matter um, and so that will be november 10th and then um, um, and then that's a Tuesday at 12 and so you should bring your notebook and pen and so you can take notes and then some of the other um, webinars are November 17th volunteering and campus community and then November 24th building your resume December 1st informational interviewing um, and then we also have um, Instagram Twitter Facebook which you can do um, follow us on at U of L Careers, where we post um, different internships and different things in the um, about the University Career Career Center and things that you can find out more about the University Career Center. So that would be a good page to follow, um, just to keep updated and keep in the know. And then we also have our holiday job fair coming up, which is November. 12th which is a thursday from 11 a.m to 2 p.m so if you're looking for a um a job over the holidays that would be a great time to go and check out some of the employers there it will be virtual so um you can just slide in and listen to some of the employers and hopefully get a job there and um that is all that i have for today any more questions or anything anything i'm missing I think you've answered all the questions that we've had today and that is all I see in the chat box for now. All righty. Thank you. Thanks for joining yeah. us everyone. Bye bye.